Welcome back to the Wilson Brothers channel. My name is Isaac. This is my brother David and the Viking. Let's go. We are here today to react to Deion Sanders, Coach Prime. Just make sure that you like and subscribe this video and tune in for more episodes, which will be down below at the end of the video. I think we have some cool stuff going on today. Hey? Today, Prime was getting interviewed after one of his games. Ooh. And I think they asked him something along the lines of, how do you feel about people's opinion of you and Colorado now actually being on the map? Because they're never on the map in college football. But this doesn't have to do with football. So if you're not a football fan, be or fair. Or if you don't know who Deion Sanders is, he's one of the best cornerbacks to ever play the game of football in the NFL. Started out at Jackson State as their coach. Ended up transitioning over to Colorado. Brought a bunch of talent with him. Got rid of 70% of the staff at Colorado <laughs> as long with the players. Re revamped the whole organization. He's a marketing genius. But I'm curious to see what he says today. All right, let's go. Give me what about me? would make you think that I care about your opinion of me. Mm. Your opinion of me is not the opinion that I have of myself. Preach. You ain't make me, so you can't break me. Woo. You didn't build me, so you can't kill me. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know what? God, God established me. Mm. So there ain't nothing you could do to me. I've been him. I've been a difference maker, a game changer. I've been that guy. So what will change? Not a darn thing. I'm not even playing the game, and you got an opinion of me. I love it, but I don't care. And I wish the world thought like that. Youngsters, if you're out there right now, do not give a darn what opinion people have of you. Long as that opinion is not consistent of that of yourself. You be you. I'm not paying to make you feel good about me. I already feel good about me. I'm good. <laughs> Message for the youngsters out there. And the oldest, old school, not old fools. Let's, right. not old Let's freaking go. All right, Jordan, give us the Southern Baptist preacher. Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? Amen. Let's go. No, nah, that, that fires me up, man. I'm so tired of everyone living their life based on other people's opinion. No, 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 no. Get him away from me. I'm very scared of you. Yeah. I did that for years, but no more. Prime, I hear you. I feel you. And that it's speaks to my soul. Is Prime his nickname? Yeah, yeah, literally prime time. Coach Prime. Oh, okay. it, and, and when he was in the NFL, they called him prime time. Those because he was electric, man. He was a crazy athlete. I don't, those, those, I don't really care about sports. I don't I don't watch like that. But Yeah, but you hear the message. You hear the message. I hear the message. The message is very good. You hear the message. People Jordan. care way too much about what other people think. Just stop freaking caring. So liberating to not care what other people think. Amen, brother. How Amen. is that how has that liberated you? <laughs> oh, I mean, it just allows you to focus on what actually matters. What matters? If you're just like constantly living to appease other people, mm. you're not actually being yourself. Yeah. Come on now. You're not living until you don't give a crap what other people think about you. And it's you. interesting. He's, those sunglasses that he's wearing, he sold $5 million worth in a weekend. He is the him. Jeez. He is one of, along with Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. Oh, God. One I'm not talking most, about that. That's so stupid. <laughs> he's one of the most viral things in the sports world right now. And this message, dude, needs to be heard because most millionaires and billionaires, people told them they couldn't make it. They yeah. couldn't. They're like, oh, you're stupid or you don't have the qualifications. Maybe you didn't go to school. Maybe you dropped out of high school. And he's saying, as long as you have a strong mindset and you don't give a crap what other people think of you, who cares, dude? Like you're going to alienate people along the way because a lot of people don't think the way you think. Yeah. They don't have that mentality I mean, people, and that drive. People have always thought that of people in the sports world that they wouldn't do good in business. But like, look at Shaq. <clears throat> look at Michael. Yeah. You know, like there's been plenty of athletes who have broken out of sports and were absolutely phenomenal businessmen. Unfortunately, though, a lot of professional athletes don't have a strong business acumen, so they end up getting yeah. out of sports and they go bankrupt because the lifestyle they had while they were playing didn't translate over to yeah. that lifestyle out. And that's what we're calling out men to be on this channel is be resilient. Don't think about everybody else's opinion of you and let that dictate how you think. Because if you let other people dictate how you think, you will not be a strong, confident man. And you will allow yourself to be dictated by whatever anybody thinks of you because you don't know who you truly are. Yeah. I mean, I love the phrase, does a lion care about the opinion of sheep? Now, it doesn't mean that we're like, oh, everybody else is stupid. But if you know who you are as a person, why do you care about people that are less successful than you, or they might be slightly more success successful, but no drive. Why do you care about what they think in that way? Right now, we're not out there, you know, going, you know, streaking down the road and we're like, I don't care what people think of me, so I'm gonna go in prison and be happy with it. Oh my God, what is that? 
I mean, David from but, the Bible danced naked. Yeah, but that was in <laughs> private, son. No, he did it out in front of everybody. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. No, he did not. Yes, he did. Read no, the Bible. He did not. Yes, he, did. <laughs> he did not publicly yes, dance. He did. Yes, he read did. the Bible. He, he publicly danced naked. In not the in the streets. Did he? You need to read your Bible, David. I'm, I'm, read your Bible. Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? Amen. Well, we appreciate you guys watching this. Challenge yourself. Every time that someone says something negative against you, do you are you going to own that? Are you going to take that on? Are you going to allow that to be your mentality going forward? Because you can't allow other people to dictate what you think. There are certain people in your life that you allow to have input. If these guys say something about me like, hey, you need to change this and that, I'll think about it because I've tr I trust them and I've allowed them to come into my life. But dude, people that don't that aren't that important in your life don't care exactly what they think to allow it to affect you. Now, there's a lot of people out there that have toxic parents and they will say, oh, you should just become a doctor because you don't have a good singing voice, whatever, right? So you have to still know if you have a direction, if you have something that you feel ordained to do in this life, you have to go out. We are not advocating for you to go streaking down the road like David. Amen. Okay. Disclaimer. We are advocating for you to be a strong man. We're advocating yes. for you to become lions. Lions. Let's freaking Let's go. go. Lions, guys, thank you for watching. Once again, there's going to be videos here and also videos here to, that we've done in the past for reactions, but we'll have more content coming your way. Thanks for subscribing, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Let's Peace. go.